today we're going to talk about maximum drawdown recovery and pretty much explain to you guys Welcome back to the channel, Akil Stokes, Pro Trader, Trading Coach, Tier1Trading.com, yada, 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 got that stuff out the way. I want to share with you some pretty cool charts and have some good discussions on what it takes to be a consistently profitable trader, looking bigger picture, not just small picture. And I know that I typically have a more educated and serious uh, demo on this channel, so I know you guys will listen up, but... What I typically run into on a regular basis is two types of traders. We have the trader that is serious, most likely you guys, that understands that trading is a business, trading is a skill. It's going to take time to learn. It's going to take time to study. It's going to take time to practice. And that it, even once you go live, it's going to take a, a fair amount of time to grow your account and build your account and compound that account. But bigger picture, you're going to reap massive benefits for that if you can survive that test of time. Then there's the other group of traders. Um, these are the traders that think it's a get rich quick scheme. I'm going to watch one video. <laughs> I'm going to learn right away. I'm going to start trading tomorrow. I'm going to throw a bunch of money in the market and I'm going to be a millionaire in about what a week or so. And I can tell you that it's just not true. Here's the thing about trading, right? And this is one of the best things I was ever told as a younger trader coming up. Good traders are great risk managers. So what does that mean? What is risk management? Well, risk management works on many different planes, but specifically for today, we're going to talk about risk management in the form of like position sizing. How much are you risking or how much are you putting up per trade? How much money or chips are you putting on to the middle of the poker table on a consistent basis hoping that your bet is correct? That actually brings up a good point. I did a little YouTube short the other day on um, poker. Well, not poker, trading, but a great poker reference, which was from a song reference that said pretty much in order to survive in trading, you need two things. You need a chip and a chair. Your chip is your money. Your chair is your spot at the table. In trading, our chip is our account size. Our chair is our chair, I guess, in front of our computer screen that allows us to participate in the market. So the main goal of, of trading is survival. We want to be able to play the game because once we cannot play the game, we do not give ourselves the ability to make money. And the game is interesting because the game isn't just you throw some money into the market and you make a million dollars right away. Trust me, if that were the case, right, I wouldn't be here sharing these secrets with you. I would be somewhere on an island, you know, doing whatever you do on islands. Um, probably not recording YouTube videos with kind of bland and dull backgrounds. But anyway. The point is professional traders are playing the long game because we know that as traders, just like the markets, we go through different ebbs and flows. We go through these periods of times where we're on fire, we're hot, we can't be stopped, everything we touch turns to gold. And then we go through periods where we just can't get right. You're doing everything correct, you have your best setup in the world and it just loses because that's what the market does, right? We've all been there. The difference is this, right? Because good traders are great risk managers, we are constantly and consistently putting ourselves in the position where we can take advantage of those hot streaks and make a lot of money, baby, right? That's been my thing lately for some reason, if you've watched the Trading Coach podcast. And then during those down periods, right, because of those risk management skills, we're able to survive it, right? We're taking losses. We're going to lose a little bit, right? Our account's hopefully not going to go to the negative if you're doing it right, but your account's going to take a little bit of a hit. But... You're surviving, you're treading water, you're keeping your head above water until that next hot streak comes and then you increase your profits to the next level. Again, think about it like a trend, right? You make new structure highs, you retrace a little bit, a little bit of relief, and then boom, that next extension takes you to new highs. Ideally, that's how we want our equity curves to look. If we are improper with our risk management, meaning, meaning we're being super greedy, we're being too, uh, uh, too risky, I guess you could say for lack of a better term, we're not going to make it through that, right? We are going to, yes, make money on those hot streaks. And the, and the idea, and I dealt with this when I managed money, is like, well, Keel, we're on this hot streak. Shouldn't you be risking more and putting on different, uh, bigger position size while you're on this hot streak so you can make more money? Yeah, I tried that. Lost 30K. You know that story. But the thing is this. Yes, it's going to look amazing when you're on that hot streak and you're just making money, 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 money. But what did I tell you, right? 
all great things come to an end, right? And that hot streak will eventually turn into a drawdown. I don't care what system or strategy you're trading. I don't care if you're the best trader in the world. Go ask, go find the best trader in the world and ask him or her if they suffer a drawdown. You're gonna be surprised with that answer. Better yet, just go back and read the Market Wizards books where they've interviewed the best traders in the world. And that will give you all the information you need if you don't believe me. But the point is, you're gonna have that hot streak. You're gonna make all this money. And then you're gonna hit that cold streak. And guess what? Because you're risking so much, right? Being greedy on that hot streak, that cold streak is going to destroy you. It's going to take everything. Best case scenario, and this was a story of, of mine as well, you're back to break even, and then you're just working hard again during the next hot streak to get where you were at before. You don't really gain any ground. You're running, running really fast on the treadmill. You're sweating, you're stinky, but you haven't actually gone anywhere. Or you're gonna blow everything, and right? And what did I tell you in the beginning? The goal of, of trading is not to blow everything. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna hop into some graphs, some data, and show you kind of what losing streaks actually look like in real life. Cause I don't I don't think a lot of people understand it. They they kind of visualize it in their head, but until they actually see the numbers, it doesn't make sense. So we'll look at some stats from what losing streaks look like and what kind of, again, maximum drawdown recovery looks like. And just to kind of give you some background before we just throw you right into the numbers, this was a presentation that we did back in, I think it was the summer, and we're comparing two traders, right? The trader that risks 1% per trade um, and the trader that risks 5% on trade. And we started off, I'm not gonna show you this chart, but we started off by looking at the positive side of it. And it was like, man, that 5% trader made like, 200% by the end of the year it was amazing and the 1% trader only made blah 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 and everyone was like oh man we got to risk 5% this is awesome money make make money baby right but then but then we took a look at the other side and it wowed traders cuz they was like oh i get it so yeah let's hop in I, that's the background of it let's hop in and i got some cool news after the video as well to share with you here's what it looks like losing and this was my, my biggest losing streak, meaning consecutive trades lost in a row was 17. I was actually in a race with a good buddy of mine. It was um, Misery Loves Company. We were both losing at the same time, and it got to the point we'd come in every day and I'd be like, hey, I took a loss yesterday. I'm at the 15. He'd be like, I'm on 16. I'm like, ah, he got me, right? You, you got to have fun with it at some point, right? <laughs> you, either that or cry. Um, so, so that losing streak with a 1% risk, you lose 17 in a row, you're down 15%, right? That's not that bad, right? Considering you've lost 17 trades in a row. Would you guys agree? Considering you, you lost 17 trades in a row, not that bad, right? You, you hope you never lose 17 trades in a row, but yeah. But now look at the 5%. You're down 60%. You're done. You're done at 60%. Is it, is it still worth it trading 5%? We've got that 129% return, but on the flip side, you're losing 60%. This is the balance that we have to find as traders. And I can tell you this, right? Going back to the weather in the storm and dealing with drawdowns, drawdowns are tough, right? And I, I it, let's put it this way. My philosophy and the philosophy of great risk managers out there is that it's a lot easier to make money when you don't have to spend time making back the money that you lost. And this next chart I'm going to show you is called um, the max drawdown recovery. So on the left-hand side is the drawdown percentage that you take. On the right-hand side is what you need to make in order just to get back to break even. So I want you to take a second and stare at this, right? You take a 5% drawdown, you got to make 5.3% to get back to break even. You take a 10% drawdown, you got to make 11% to get back to break even. Remember that 5% trader who took the 60% drawdown? If you take a 50% drawdown, you've got to make 100% to get back to break even. And I want you to think, let that marinate for a second. I want you to think about that. 
And in reality, by the time you make your money back just to get to break even, maybe you catch a hot streak, you, you catch on fire. Guess what's coming after that hot streak? Another cold streak, right? Because we can't control them. They come. So you go down 50%. You have this amazing comeback. Somehow you bring yourself back up to break even. And then another drawdown comes. And now you're back down to a negative 20% drawdown. So you're still going backwards. But if we can manage our risk, if we can never put ourselves in that situation, we can continue to make new equity highs. And we don't have to waste time or rather, we don't have to waste our profits digging ourselves out of drawdown. We can actually have our profits profit for us. So I hope that opened up a little bit more insight. Maybe you looked at things from a different perspective. Maybe you don't care and you just want to be super risky and, and blew it all. I don't care. Not my money. You can do whatever you want. Um, but a lot of traders have felt this helpful. So I want to share it here on YouTube with you guys as well. That chart or that part of the program was taken from a presentation that we did in august i got some good news we've got another free online trading workshop coming up soon and by soon i mean november i don't know the actual dates yet but i think it's right before thanksgiving of course i'll give you some more details on when it is what time it is and how to sign up here on the channel so make sure you watch this space but mark your calendars end of november we usually do four days we do live we give you the recordings afterwards so it's a it's a whole thing it's a whole event hopefully um setting you up for a great winter so that you can set you up for set yourself up for a great beginning of the new year and it's man how is it almost a new year already anyway keep an eye on that hit that like button subscribe if you're not subscribed already make sure you check out the short section of this youtube channel tons and tons and tons and tons of content more content than you'll get anywhere else make it a daily thing for you where you log in and check out like five videos and until next time play and trade trade your plan Take care. I wanna be the best in the game. Invest in my name. Check no restraints. I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain, assess, and I change. Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints. Money, clout, and fame. Mud disease, a plague. We all love to hate. Have to play the game. Have to make a name. All our insecurities are on this display. Is